everybody today we are on we're hanging out with Jizargo our our good friend Jizargo and we're going to Galden Rock which we can't do so we'll fast travel to Valtium, Ta Valtium Towers and we'll walk from there we're hanging out with Jizargo today and as part of the mission we and part of the episode this episode's content is us killing a giant and a dragon and quite possibly Burying Jizargo at some point in the mission. <laughs> because I don't know how he'll get on. He's not exactly Shadow Mare, the near invincible horse who died falling off a cliff. Um, but we'll take on a giant and we'll take on a dragon and see what's what. If I have to wolf out to take on the giant, I will. But I don't think I will. But me and Jizargo are going to go on that on that adventure today to kill a giant and kill a dragon. Might be a long episode, might be a short one. Depends if Jizargo is killed. And if I have to give him an over-the-top funeral by setting him on fire. Um, so. We want to head in this general direction. Let's get our weapons up. Bandit. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. How about you let me throw my kill? Huh? Tough talk for Let's go, Jizargo! So, bandits oh, want a piece of my, want a piece yeah. of my, in, in my little gold. Back me up, Jizargo! Jizargo uses lightning bolts. Come on, bitch, where are you? Where have you gone? I can't see you guys. Oh god, Jizargo's gone inside on his own! Shit! Jizargo, are you okay? Oh shit, I hit Jizargo with magic. Okay, quick, get the Staff of the Healing Hand out. Get up, Jizargo! Crap, I got killed! I couldn't hold them back and protect Jizargo. I couldn't hold them back and protect and protect my cat, my cat magician. I don't want Jizargo to die to bloody bandits five minutes into the into the session. Oh crap. Okay. We'll try this again. Maybe I should stick to the sword. The magic sword that I use. <coughs> I do like magic staffs though. So yeah, I look amazing. I got killed it really quickly. But that, that's kind of because I hit Jizargo myself with magic. Because I'm using a spreader attack rather than a... Rather than a, a honed in attack, because it works better for me. I get two or three hits on each guard with a spread attack. There you are, Jizako. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. No, we're going up a snowy mountain. Right, time to change my weaponry up. Conjuration bound bow. I'm gonna do some. Sheep will follow. What's the magic? Okay, so we're going to kill the giants at Golden Rock, which is there, which we can't go to because we've got to go to Valtim Towers, which is a bandit household. So we will go back to the bandit place and we'll go through the bandits again. Because this is our day out with Jizargo. 
the cat magic mage. A close friend of Kitty Von Bastard is Jazago. He um they were friends back in the back in the old cat world days. Um yeah, so we'll take Jazago with us because he's awesome. And he's a cat. And um Hopefully we won't get him killed. That'd be the dream anyway. That fire spell is quite useful, but it does hurt your follower. <laughs> Which is a problem. It's useful against dragons and stuff, but I'm gonna use the arrows for the bandits, I think. I think um I think an arrow that doesn't exist to the eye is kind of a cool little thing. So come on, Gisardo, let's go. Let's give them an arrow that doesn't exist to the eye. Hang on, it's two o'clock in the morning. So let's skip forward a couple of hours so we've got daylight on our side. So we can actually see what the feck we're doing. There's no enemies nearby, so we can skip a couple of hours. And it's not like we're on a deadline to get to the giant. Fast travelling just takes time up in the day. Hello! Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. I could easily pay the 200 gold. Huh. Tough talk. Alright then. You've got an arrow in your chest, look. Thanks for the 129 gold. You wanted 200 gold from me. Instead, I've took nearly 200 gold off you. Come on, Jizago, let's go. Let's clear this place out. Bitch, we're coming in. Jizago, don't leave. Ah, shit. I just fell off the bridge. Jago, please try and hold your own for a moment. I fell off a bridge. Don't get killed. You're my cat warrior. I need you. Light armor because I'm using light armor because my dragon. dragon. Do this, Chisago. Right in the back. I just put an arrow up your ass. So, you, so your, your career wasn't ended by an arrow in the knee. Your career was ended with an arrow up the butt. Because that's kind of a that's kind of a. Uh, Catchphrase of this series, the arrow up the bum. It's become a bit of a, uh, it's become a bit of a thing that we do. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, an arrow up the bum is the catchphrase of this series because it's it is because it is such a it is such a clean way of it is such a clean way of rupturing somebody's internal organs. With a large, with a large spiked, pointy thing that doesn't exist up their up their rectal cavity, <laughs> and that's a posh way of saying it. I think I'm going to stick with arrow up the bum. It sounds awesome. We've got a scroll of Blizzard. How's about we try that bitch out? I think Blizzard is the top level um, ice magic. It'll take an age to cast. But it will probably blow everybody to hell. Chisago, have you run on ahead? He has, you know. Chisago's a... 
Saga's a bloody warrior. You should wait for me, mate. We'll do this together. I want to steal their pants. Because I'm weird like that and I nick people's underpants when I'm robbing their, ca their castles. I'm sorry, Mario. Our princess is in another castle. Here, have these boxer shorts. A scroll of call to arms. I do like to check the place out because you never know what you're gonna find like potions and garlic and things that you can you can steal because that's a good idea if you're robbing a random you're robbing a random tower in the middle of nowhere to pick up the garlic and eat it that's a good move there's also some awesome little wine there you can nick um, there's also some awesome little wine and a book here the black arrow um, it doesn't do anything, but I'm going to take it anyway because I have a library, I think. Um, Gisargo has come back to me, so Gisargo must have run out of enemies to kill. Oh, wow, a diamond! And an ebony dagger. So we've got some awesome gear from this already. Wow, okay. So we've climbed up to the top here. There's some goat cheese. We're going to take that. We'll take this goat cheese from, um, this just wrap, yeah, we'll just nick some random goat cheese that we found on a wooden table in some random house. And, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here, I think. Because I don't think there's, uh, don't think there's anything else we can do here. So our target is over there, so we need to uh, cross the bridge. Okay, we'll just swim. Yeah! Wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Don't kill yourself by jumping off bridges, Gisargo. It's not a good idea. Gisargo! You better not have. You over here? Dude? I hope he hasn't. He's over there! Ah, oh, so Gisargo is smart enough to go, to go back up the hill and cross the bridge, whereas I will just jump off a cliff. So Gisargo is actually smarter than me, you guys can learn from this. But we need to continue along our path, because we've got a giant to kill. Is that a camp nearby? A horse would be awesome, but I kind of killed mine, so... Take a potion of stamina, you lazy bastard, come on. In fact, I'm going to switch up my weaponry again. To I'm going to use a conjured sword this time and put rest restoration fast healing on the other hand. And that way I can regenerate my stamina while we're travelling. Cool little feature. We're in the mountains, so what are the chances we're going to run into a bear? Very high, I would imagine. Very high, just like this cliff that I'm jumping down. That too is very high. But I think we've got to get across the other side of the hill, haven't we? Oh, I found somebody's tomb. Awesome. I'm not going in there, though. going in the right direction. I'm here. How did that happen? Let's fast travel back to the towers. I went in the wrong bloody direction. What a fail on my part that was. We'll get it right this time, I'm sure. 
we might have to kill the dragon in another episode. But we'll definitely do the giant. <laughs> I'm not sure a magic sword is a good thing for a good idea for a giant, but it's useful for the travelling purpose, then we can switch back to the bow. Or even to or even to one of the lightning staffs or something. I've got some unenchanted staffs that I do need to collect some bits and pieces for so that I can make them into into power staffs. I have given Jizago one that I found. Which is just a low a low level staff of a, of a low level fire spell. Hey look, wild animals, let's go, Jizago! Is that a wolf? No. No, don't leave. Ah, oh, come on, you. Oh, fine. The giant camp's over here. Come on. Cure. It cures the stamina as well, which is a, a useful perk to purchase. Should be a giant up here. Here we are. Here's the giant camp. So let's let's uh let's get ourselves ready, Jizargo. Let's get ourselves ready with some distance attacks. We're gonna put Kunja. Um, I think I'll conjure a seeker and I'll conjure a bow. Ready, Jizago? So, Seeker, go! And let's get a lock and fire! Oh crap, they're both coming! Let's finish the job. Yeah, we killed two giants. Me and Jizago are bosses. He's got giant's toe, goat hide, loads of gold, a snow bear pelt, a war hammer, and an iron mace. I can't run, but I can give some of the gear to Jizago. Jizago! If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Jezargo only has so much room to Yeah, I know, but I want you to equip some gear, don't I? Uh, apparel. Actually, you know what I'm going to give you? I'm going to give you some dwarf arrows. Take these. Yeah, have these dwarven arrows because you can use them. Um, I know you're a mage, so what about if I give you one of my staff? Uh, staff of food. I'm not using it. Take the staff of lightning bolts. Um, can you carry some random shit? Because I've got too much gear on. I'll just take a potion for it. So Jizargo is has got a bow. Jizargo is a bow user. Gotcha. In fact, no. Let's sell some stuff. Let's call. Let's call him out. I call upon you, Black. Market! So soon. You must be hungry. Oh, I'm Sorry, hungry for deals. Let's make a deal. Yeah, let's. I'd like to buy an ebony arrow. One, please. Uh, but I'd also like to sell that. 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 Uh, those. That. 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 
that. Money. At I least I've got so rid of some of my junk. This is a small giant camp. Is there anything else here we can rob? Or we up here? Because the dragon's probably going to be a different kind of deal. As if we got all we can from the giants, we killed two of them. Oh, he's got some gear. Hang on, ebony gauntlets, cave bear pelts, garnet, tow, gold, cat pelts. I don't want the shield. So I'm going to skip a couple of days and sell some more gear to the to the drummer to the, the monster to my um, black market dealer. Because we're going to have a bunch of dragon bone and dragon scale when we fought a dragon. And that's stuff that we don't need. So we need to get rid of that stuff by hanging around here for 24 hours. Hopefully the giants don't respawn. I don't think they will because they're part of a side quest. As opposed to just random spawns. Still with me, Jazago. Good. Because we've got to skip another day. And then we'll be able to go and do the dragon. <coughs> Which I think is going to take even more travel, but we do need to um, fight it. And we're going to get some gold. We'll get some nice gold for it, and we'll obviously get the gold that we get for selling the parts of the dragon. Which is also a useful little thing. Now a dragon isn't going to be holding awesome weapons and stuff, but... Come! So soon? Yeah, I have things to sell, bro. I'm sure we can strike a bargain. I know we can. healing and keep potion with a nice lingering poison weak poison uh, call to arms and calm uh, I'll keep those I'll keep them uh, bear pelts and fists I'm keeping the soul gems. I'll keep these two diamonds. I'm going to make some diamond rings out of that. I'll make some emerald rings as well. The garnets I don't need. Goat hide can go. Hawker tusks. You can buy them off me. I'll keep the iron for now. Um, Ruby. Saber cat. Um, I'll sell you the fragments. Uh, and the steel. Oh, I might as well sell some iron then. I'll sell you some iron as well. No, I'm going to keep. No, it's gold, so. I'll sell the corundum. And the iron. And I might as well sell some of the stuff. I'll sell the emerald to you. I'll use the diamond to make a diamond. I do ring, so love dealing with mortals. So now our next job, Jizago. We don't want to go and see Preventius just yet, because I know he's got money for us, but we want to go and kill the dragon. Located there. So we'll go to the shrine of Meroon's Dagon. Another side mission that I did a while back.
and we can go and purchase. Uh, we can go and fight a dragon. Uh, I should probably use magic for that, but Jizago will use magic and I will use magic arrows. That's how we're going to do it. Um, yeah. And once we've killed the dragon, then we'll pick up the... Oh god, there's random Grimora! I just fell down the hill. I felt I got knocked down a hill. Shit. I'm gonna have to. Am I here? I'm gonna have to try and fast travel again. Hang on. And be ready for them this time instead of being off guard, as I was a little bit last time. Hopefully Jazago survived. He could have been knocked off a cliff then. If he's down, I'll have to go and pick up another one. Another who seeks death. Not really. <laughs> Time for me to put some shouts to use. Daedra Heart. Batman's in the blaze. Is there someone coming back? <laughs> Silas's body is still here from the last time I was here. So there's the two dra the two Daedra that needed to die. But where's Jazago gone? Did he go over the side? Did Jazago go over the side? I don't know. I know I went I know I went over the side, but Oh there you are. There you are, Jazargo. You're taking where you us gone. somewhere warm, I trust. Jazargo only has so much room to carry things. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna give you some arrows. Weapons, arrows, ebony arrows. Yeah. We follow then. So we're heading to the dragons at Skyborn Altar. We're up here at the moment, we need to go there. So I think it's over the other side, isn't it? We better be armed just in case. I'm also going to switch up to another conjuration spell use a flame thing if I need to. Can 
you get up there just how it goes. Hopefully you're smart enough not to follow me the route I'm taking. But if not, then that's your mistake, isn't it, bro? But to the shrine because that's where I'm supposed to be going to like some sort of dragon summoning area nearby looking forward to a dragon fight they're usually, they're usually quite fun Apologies for all the loading screens, guys, but sometimes I get stuck on mountains and I can't find places. So yeah, we want to go over that, over the other side of here, don't we? So can we climb up over here, perhaps? Let's just climb down a bit. Head over this way. That's twisting around a bit. There we go. It's a path? No, it's not a path. I could probably get up there on a horse, but. This is going to be the place up here. One dragon. Let's get onto a flat edge, Chisago, so we can fight it properly. Chisago, don't stand there! Come on, Scaly! You're gonna hurt my cat friend, are you? I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna electroshock you to death. Oh my god, I turned a dragon to ash. You okay, Jazago? 
still here? Have a blast of healing energy. Kashyyyk guards your back. Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. I'm gonna take some of the stuff off you, I think. We follow then. We don't. Foof! I need to summon my Dromoria. Let's make a Oh, you haven't got any gold. Crap. Okay. I'm going to have to um, skip some more days. In fact, guys, I'll pick up the cash off camera. Thank you guys for watching this dragon and giant killing episode. This has been another episode of Skyrim, and you guys have been quite welcome. Make sure you make sure you um, subscribe if you want more, and like the video. That's all I, all I ask. Peace, guys, and see you next time.